everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I've got um, some decorated envelopes in the envelope stack. It's got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces in it, and it's wrapped with a big, pretty lace bow. And let's just start with the first one. Got a real pretty image of a lady and some different fabrics and some lace and a little butterfly. And then the envelope itself has been embossed. And then once you run it through the embossing machine, it weakens the paper. So I went around it with a made a pretty border with some washi. And there you can see more of the, the embossed look. And on the inside, we've got some real pretty images here. Um, part of a doily and a little thingamabob with a, a pretty girl. And then on the back, I just stenciled on the back. This one is made out of a book page. Got, uh, it says uh, something theater on it, but it's pretty. And then a piece of paper attached from the back for writing. This is one of my favorite images because you can see her reflection in the mirror. So I really like that. And it's on an old um, cookbook page that's a natural aging. I didn't do anything to it. And a piece of lace here. And uh, then I put a piece of cardstock on the back for writing. A vintage photo that I inked up. That's the natural, uh, natural. That's the coffee stain, and it just came out really nice on that one, so I left it. One of my, another one of my favorite images is this bicycle image, and then it's an embossed card with uh, some burlap, and then a card on the back for writing, because you can't really write over that embossed, but um, it also thickens it up, makes it a nice thick card. And then another pretty lady with stitching going all the way around the card. That's a lot of stuff in that one envelope. Put that in here. And the next envelope, this is um, part of a, a old Battenberg uh, like uh, placemat that I got in a state sale. It's got stamping and book page and some flowers and a little image here. And on the back, more stamping and then the Battenberg with a piece of lace here. And on the inside, got a bunch of cards here for writing. It's a bunch of, a collage of a bunch of different fabrics. A pretty lady. Coffee stained paper. Another pretty lady. Another card with some different laces and a little mini flower. And this one's got cheesecloth. And then the snippets here with a little doodad and some fabrics. For, so, every, you know, you can. what I like about these is you can journal a little bit every day. Say you only want to journal a little bit. So you could just journal on that page. And then the next day, come back and do that page. So, that's, that's, I love these. And then I put this um, little letter with a rose on this side. And it's got a birdie and a clock on this side. Lots of stuff. That's what I like, stuff. This is a card that, a postcard, vintage postcard that I got at an estate sale, and I covered it with fabric and made a belly band here and put a little flower, and then I tucked in a little um, card for journaling. And then, of course, you have the back of the postcard. That's the natural aging. I didn't do anything to it. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely adore this lace. But it too is a postcard and it's got a book page here with different all different kinds of fabrics and a little uh, rose, rose, yarn rose. And then there's the back. We're pretty. And I like the fabric that hangs over. And this one 
So when I, I, this, we do this like uh, we do our regular envelopes, and then on the back I put this huge piece of fabric, part of a crochet doily, and a little rose image, and it's got some light stamping. And on the inside, got a piece of ephemera. It's been coffee stained, and I attached this little image and some fabrics and some laces. And then another piece of ephemera here with a pretty lady. And I had this left over from a kit that I'd bought, so I um, put a piece of fabric up there and added it to this collection. I think that's Medieval Mirage. I think it looks like hers. Another card here with some pretty roses. A little mini booklet. And it's got some seam binding and some lace with just assorted pages in. And a tag with um, some lace at the tie, a little stamping going on the back. And then this is the front. This is the original tag. I I don't, uh, some I scan and keep and some I don't, but because um, I make a lot of them. But it's just got different stamping and stenciling and images, all kinds of stuff there. And then I lined this with the old computer book page that I had. That's one of my favorites. I love this these, um, this color envelope. So I did some stamping and I put some lace here. These are real stamps. Little piece of lace here with a little image. And then this has got uh, some laces with different all different kinds. A little heart image there. And I just folded the lace over and did some stamping. And on the inside of this one, we have a card with some fabric. And then this um, is, you know, like it's the hotel stationery. So it matches that. And then it's got... A pretty lady and then uh, some lined paper heavily coffee stained for extra writing and a little mini booklet and I used uh, music pages for the cover and it's just got all different kinds of uh, coffee dyed papers just little dictionary page there they're all different sizes a little card here Something neato. Oop, come back here. And then the big one, which goes like this. It's got, um, I just pulled some stuff out of my stash. I've got so much stuff printed. And I made a collage with it. And a little pretty image of a lady. And then it's got some lace running down the side. And the back side matches, coordinates with it. And it's got um, some nice uh, ephemera and another pretty lady here with the lace. And then it's been inked and stamped and coffee stained. And a big paper clip to hold it together. Oops, come here you. And on the inside, I used, um, I just, I didn't put like a hard cover on this journal. It's just a, a hodgepodge of torn, interesting papers. And I really like the look. Uh, I've got a little safety pin here with a little filigree charm. And I used a pink sari silk. And... Got home is where the heart is, and some angels here with some roses. And on the inside, a real pretty pocket. Um, the coffee staining in this is just really nice. And it's got some laces, a little stamped image with a card. And the pocket has got two ladies out on the porch with their parasols. Cute. A little tuck spot here with a card. Pretty image, some ephemera, 
I love the different, uh, really, I, I, I just wanted to see the, all the, you know, what you could do with how many different size uh, pages you could get in here. And it's just, it just really came out kind of cool. Me likey. Now I ripped the pages, of course. This is from my uh, ephemera book that I got at an estate sale. That's the natural aging of it. Another little mini tuck spot here with some lace. And a lady in her kitchen. Another big piece of ephemera here. Angels are watching over us. Nice big card. It looks like a small journal, but it has got so much room for usage that I really just love this size. A little image here, and a postcard. I'm really, really liking this. I'm going to have to make another one. Another piece of ephemera here, and a pocket. Look at all that coffee staining. Another pretty image here. And then a tuck spot behind it with a little bitty stamp that says Beyond Measure. Cute. Another um, piece of ephemera from my book. And you can get a home deposit vault for $13.50. Try to do that today. Just try. Another card here with some faintly lined paper and some ephemera. But look at all the unevenness. Isn't that just yummy? Another picture of a lady in her kitchen. A little bit more modern, but I absolutely adore that sink. Another tuck spot over here with the fuzzies. And then a pocket uh, with the same fabrics as in the front. And it's uh, people outside having tea. A little rosette and some different fabrics here. Part of a French book page. And a little card for journaling. And then the back cover. Has, it matches the front. And it's got the flowers and the little angels. I really, really like this. It's really neat. It looks thin. But I'm telling you, it's got a lot going on in here, as you can tell. And I'm not going to make y'all watch me tie that back up. That would be boring, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I want to thank y'all so much for being here with me this Friday. It means a lot to me. And I will see y'all in the next video next Friday. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good weekend.